Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about Nginx and how you can set it up. Normally you will just install it from the built-in systems and then you get the, a later version. In this video I will show how you can edit for your source list and then always be up to date when there will come in a new releases for, for Nginx. I will really recommend that because then some features you, you will not having if the system you're running on is too old or it's not up to date so that's what we're gonna do today and I really hope you stay here to to the full video and don't forget to like and share and subscribe my channel so that's going ahead the first I can to demonstrate here is uh, it's we gonna log in with the to do here and uh, then we just say apt install nginx I will show you what version you actually get I'm running a, a Debian 10 so this is the version you're locked for if you're going for that. It's the version 1.14 and the latest version is uh, 190 I think. So that's why you should not use that. And uh, that's why we're gonna have to remove it again. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. And and we say app auto remove and it's asking to remove everything about that and we are here we got here we have a lot of uh, folders here so let's remove the nginx folder and now we have nothing with nginx anymore so that's cool that's why you don't should uh, use the built-in version so now the the next step will be I will uh, show how you can add the, the source list to it. The first we're going to do is uh, open the, the app source list. And inside here, we're just going somewhere. I'm just going down here and say dip and say HTTP and say nginx org package mainline. And we want to say Debian. A stretch and nginx so if you don't want to to type this down you can go in for my github I will have uh, my source list put it up here so you can see what I haven't done and the next we're gonna do it's say a widget and then we are gonna do say nginx dot org keys nginx sign that key and then we download that and uh, you need to install the app key at nginx signing here and we don't have installed uh, this one so that's what we're gonna do now and um, so so yeah app install and just install the Everything here will be inside my install script, so you don't need to do anything else and just add the line for for the nginx uh, package into your source, and then run the script if you want. Let me clear that and say app update. Now it's uh, you cannot verify that it's because I'm not adding the key. Sorry, and then we can update it again. Now we basically just say app install nginx and then we just say yes. Uh, we want that. And yes. And yes, we want to install all the maintainers uh, version. So we, we have the right version down below. Now we can say nginx version and now we can see we are running on 1.19.6 and that's the newest version from nginx and uh, it's very nice. So what we're gonna do now is just saying service nginx start and then we are up and running. So let's see the IP address we got and I have the 15 so let's go in for the browser and see what it's look like so now we have visited the IP address and we can see the welcome to the nginx page it's up and running and that's cool with us so let's go back to the terminal and configuration the the custom folder I want uh, right now it's using the use 
slash share folder, but I want to use var slash vvv folder. So let's make a change. So let's go for the configuration and cd nginx. Everything here is uh, running again, and you can see all the files. We have the nginx here, that's the, the folder, and uh, then we have the configuration here. That's all the configuration is inside. And this is the file we have, and you can see it's using user share nginx HTML. We want to change this, and uh, let's open it up. When this is open, we go and put down to the location and make a little changes here. We in HTML, and we always only want HTML files. Save it and uh, come back and see about we have the folder here and we have the file. So just say moving index to index. Dot HTML and we're going inside and say HTML and what we're going to do now is just remove everything we have here about nginx because now we want the custom uh, index page and then we want to type yes this is a custom landing page Welcome to my web server. Close it down. So nginx t to confirm we all, everything here it's uh, succeeds. So nginx reload and that should be that. Let's go back for the browser. And when we are here, we just reload. And now you can see we have the new welcome page. So that's how we are working with your basically first nginx web server and how you can use it from the source list thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoy and i don't uh, i don't hope you uh, know everything about this video before you visit that i really hope you want to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button in the in the right corner below in the video and if you have any questions please make a comments below and i'll try to answer them for you thank you so much and hope to see you next time Bye.